I have chosen the Eastern Woodland Indians as a representative example because they're just one of many great and complex cultures that presided over the land here. And most people don't even realize that these tribes, they sometimes spoke several different languages and dialects. They had cultural beliefs and systems that were varied from each group. Uh, There's a myriad amount of information and complexity to them. And I don't feel that most of the general population even realizes that today. I don't want to blame our academic system, but I think what it is, is we have grown up sometimes with what we have seen in old TV programs or maybe what we've just learned in the classroom as children. I don't think it's for a lack of interest, let me put it to you that way. I think sometimes, though, in this world, some things are forgotten or overlooked or or just marginalized by either, not so much just the media outlets, but just in general, things are marginalized, they're put in boxes, they're put in small blurbs or things, and we don't take and look closely at these cultures. And I I think when you start to peel back the layers of a culture and you study it and, and you you inform yourself on the many different wonderful aspects of it. it. It helps to broaden your own horizons. It helps to show you more about your own self, your own culture, your own social situation.